wallpaper up. And now I'm gonna mix up a little bit of this Easy Sand 5 or Hot Mud to pre-fill that crack. You can also use regular joint compound, but if you wanna finish the patch in one day, I do recommend that you use Easy Sand 5. And as you can see, I'm applying that Hot Mud directly onto the crack. Just make sure you really push it in there, that way it's nicely filled. And after you're done with the pre-fill, it's time to fiber fuse. You can also use paper or mesh tape for this step, but I personally like to use the fiber fuse. And what this is gonna do is that it's just gonna help reinforce that area. Like I said, all these steps here is so that it doesn't crack again in the future. This is a very important important step so just make sure you don't skip it because it will crack without any tape and so once you're done with that go ahead and grab a 10 inch drywall knife that way you could apply the hot mud over the tape you can also use your 6 inch drywall knife but I like using the 10 inch because it's going to be less bumpy and it's going to be nice and flat I always like to mix my hot mud about like a sour cream consistency that way I could spread it really good it's kind of like spreading Nutella on your toast if that makes any sense if you're a beginner, I do recommend that instead of using the Easy Sand 5, you use like the Easy Sand 45. That way you have a little bit more time to play with. 